Android allows its users to customize a lot of things. In Android, you'll have the freedom that you won't get in any other smartphone OS. Android even allows its users to change the look of their device completely through launchers. So in this video, let's take a look at 5 of the best new launchers available in the Play Store. You can find the timestamp and the direct link to the Play Store for each launcher in the description box below. So, that's so the first launcher on the list is Dodo Launcher. So this launcher is very popular in the Play Store. It has around 10 million downloads and has a very high rating of 4.4 in the Play Store. Once you install this launcher on your device, it feels like a normal launcher. You can swipe to change screens. You'll have the traditional app drawer. Once you swipe up, you will be presented with a lot of options. There you will find theme. So this launcher has its own theme show. As this launcher has millions of downloads, a lot of users have created many themes for this launcher. Once you open the theme shop, you can see all the themes that are available. You can sort them through various categories. And once you find the theme that you want to install, you can just click on it and hit download and it will be downloaded in the device in a couple of seconds. And applying a theme is very easy as well. Just go to the theme option and there you can view all the themes and just tap on anyone that you want to apply. It will be done in few seconds. From the theme store, you can also download icon packs. Again, in this theme store, you will find a lot of amazing icon packs. From preference, simple home screen editing. You can change a lot of things about this launcher like grid size, margin, icon size, and you can enable or disable label, status bar, dock bar, indicator. This launcher also has support for gestures, uh, gestures for swipe up, swipe up with two fingers, swipe down, swipe down with two fingers, long tap and double tap. For each gesture, you can set a certain action and here you will find the backup and restore option. So that's all about this launcher. Uh, this launcher has a lot of themes and once you apply each theme, you have the ability to customize it and make it your own. So just give it a try, try its features. The next launcher on the list is Lollipop Launcher. If your manufacturer hasn't updated your device to Lollipop or if you don't like the skin on your device and want to have stock Android feel, I'll try this launcher. Google Now Launcher also does the same exact thing. But this launcher is a lot lighter and faster than it. This launcher only weighs at 1 MB. And also this launcher occupies very less amount of space in RAM which should increase the performance and also save battery. Once you install it on a device, it will feel like stock Android. The app drawer, icon, the search bar, everything is present here. The only thing missing is the Google Now page. Inside the settings of this launcher, you will find some customizing options. You can change grid size, transition effect, change some scrolling settings, icon settings, change app drawer grid size, and its transition effect. You can even choose to add additional dock page so that you can swipe the dock to reveal additional set of icons. Gestures are also available here. You have gestures like swipe up, down, double tap, and a lot more. And for each gesture, you can choose to launch an app, have a shortcut opened, open recent app menu, search, and a lot more. So that's all about this launcher. It's a very lightweight launcher, but it provides even more features than Google Now. The next launcher on the list is Nokia G Launcher. So this launcher has a unique interface, very different from others. Previously, you just needed to download the APK file and install it manually, but now it's available in the Play Store. In the main screen on the top, you'll have the time displayed and you can swipe to reveal the weather. And below, you'll find some contacts and applications. This launcher analyzes how you use the device and will show the most relevant applications and contacts here. And in the main screen, you can just draw any letter 
and any application and contact starting with that letter will be displayed. You can even add more letters to narrow down your search. You can add even more to make it a web search. Below you'll have the dock and the app drawer. You can add up to 4 icons in the dock. And from the settings of this launcher you can change few things about this launcher. You can change the default search engine, temperature unit, icon pack. So this launcher is very easy to use and it looks great as well. The next launcher on the list is Hola launcher. So recently its developer have updated it with its new 3D UI and a lot of new improvements and everything looks very good here in this launcher. Our transitions are a lot better. Everything moves in a pattern and its 3D effect makes it even better. Everything has got animations to it. Even small things like this space indicator has got animations to it. The UI of this launcher is very similar to others. You can swipe to change the screen and you can double tap to open the app drawer where every application are, are sorted alphabetically. So swiping from any bottom corner will open the Hola sign where you can find your recently installed applications, frequently used applications and toolbox where you'll have toggles for different settings like Wi-Fi, flashlight, Bluetooth and a lot more. This feature makes one-handed use very easy. You can swipe down from anywhere on this launcher to open the search where you can search applications, contact or anything in the web. It's a great feature to have. And swiping up with two fingers will open the hide app menu where you can add any applications and hide it. And the only way to open is, is by going to this menu again and opening the app from here. Swiping up with single finger will take you to menu. From Hola settings here, you can change a lot of things. From appearance, you can change the transition effect. A lot of options are available here. And here you, you'll also have gestures so you can have gestures for swipe up, swipe down or double click. And for its gestures, you can set a custom action. And you'll also have the backup and restore option here. In this launcher, folders are created automatically and categorized automatically. So if you install a game, it will go directly in the games folder. If you install a social media application, it will go directly in the social media app. This launcher looks very good, but from time to time, this launcher asks you to download various applications, which can be annoying. The next launcher on the list is Action Launcher 3. So I have shown this launcher a couple of times, but in the previous update, the developers brought some pretty big new features. So at the first glance, this launcher looks like stock Android. Uh, the theme, the icons, everything looks similar. If you swipe from the left, you'll have the side app menu. Uh, if you don't like it, you'll also have the option of the traditional app menu. In the previous update, the mm -hmm. developers brought support for gestures. Now in this launcher, you'll find some unique gestures that you can't find in any other. Or you'll have shortcuts for single tap, double tap, and triple tap in any open area in the launcher, or double tap and triple tap of the home button. Or for these shortcuts, you can choose to open an app, settings, a launcher shortcut, a lock device, go to recent app menu, and a lot more. Below, you'll have gestures, uh, gestures for swipe up, swipe up with two fingers, swipe down, swipe down with two fingers, pinch gestures. Again here, for each gesture, you can set a custom action. From the settings here, you can also change the grid size, icon scale, uh, number of items in dock menu. In Axel Launcher 3, you will still have all the previous good features like shutters, where you can just have widget open of any applications by swiping up from its app icon. Uh, so you'll have a fully featuring widget without occupying its space. And in Action Launcher 3, you can set covers for different uh, folders. So if you tap the folder, the cover app will open. But if you swipe up, the folder will open. And you'll also have Quick Page, which is a fully featured home screen 
that can be accessed from anywhere. Inside settings, you'll also have an option called Quick Theme, which will analyze the wallpaper and then select the colors for Google search box and the app menu. Apart from that, you can also change the icon pack, font, and a lot more. So that's all about this launcher. So that's all about this video. Which one do you think is the best among them? Do let me know in the comment section below and do subscribe for more and follow me on social medias. The links are below in the description box. Uh, so thanks for watching. Have a great day.